Can you give some examples on what complex trauma can look like? Um, because I feel like some specific examples of maybe what, what complex trauma could look like could be helpful to some people. Yeah. So for many, like the obvious one is a child that has abuse in any form. So physical abuse, verbal abuse, emotional abuse, um, sexual abuse. So that, that, that's there, but then there, there's the uh, emotional needs that aren't met. So a child who tries to attach to mom and dad, cause they need to connect in order to get their needs met in order to survive. And so they try to attach to mom and dad, but dad's too busy. He's working all the time. Mom's depressed all the time, mental health issues. And so they can never connect. So that's a scary thing for a child to not be able to connect. Or a child who is authentic. They just show their personality. They're the way they are, and they just are who they are. But then they get criticized for it. They get punished. You're too sensitive. You, you, you show too much emotion. You, you cry too much. All of those things, now they're punished for being who they are. So they begin to go, authenticity, that needs not being met. It's now being punished. The need to connect, that's not being met. I feel all alone. Then they have this, all their little quirks about themselves, funny nose, big ears. Um, they're a bit uncoordinated. They're a bit ditzy. And they're not being accepted for that. They're being laughed at, teased. Um, names, they're being called names. Now, all of a sudden, it's not safe to be themselves because they're always being picked on, laughed at. So, those are things. Then you get parents who are perfectionists. So if you come home with straight A's except for one B, straight A's and one B is not good enough. It's what's wrong with you? What, how come you got a B? What you're an embarrassment. Um, and, and then all of a sudden it's like, wow, unless I'm perfect, I'm not good enough. And so the bar gets set way too high and they always feel like they're failing. Um, so those are just, some of the common things. Another one that happens for a lot of kids would be comparison. Um, so why can't you be like your brother? Your cousin is so much better than you. Wish you were like your cousin. And all of a sudden it's like, it's again, not safe to be me. It's not good to be me. Um, and so their world all of a sudden becomes quite dangerous for being picked on, punished, laughed at, criticized, all of that. 